The New York Knicks are back. Ha <laughs> ha! You know, when we watch the Jets and Giants play, we've said throughout this season, kind of sucks we don't get to watch real football. We're not watching the sport that so many other teams play when we watch, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Rams, uh, the Chargers for a lot of this year. Hell, the Cleveland Browns and on and on and on. The Dallas Cowboys, right? We feel like we're missing out because we don't have that here. We're not seeing the same sport. Well, last night, we got to see it. We got to see one of our teams playing real basketball. And it's great that they won, but even bigger than the win, we got to see our team playing the way the sport is meant to be played. The Knicks are back. Good afternoon, Evan. How are you today, kid? I'm okay. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be smiling all afternoon no, today. You should be happy. I had a great one last night. Congrats. All you Johnny Come Lately for Gazy basketball fans who I listen to all day today, all of a sudden waxing poetic like you follow this team, like you give a rat's ass about the Knicks, like you know anything about basketball, zip it. Now, you're welcome to jump on the wagon. Feel free to enjoy the run, but don't act today because they played a great opener and double overtime fashion and set the season off with a firecracker that suddenly you know what you're talking about. I think the word you're looking for would be casuals. Fugazi is oh, what I call it. People that turned down the opportunity that Evan gave them to go to the game, unless you had a family reason not to go, of course, or a work <laughs> reason not to go. The garden was electric. The game was great. We're going to nitpick it a little bit today, but we're going to enjoy it for what it was. Nitpick now, it? What do you mean? Four straight no, Kimball no, Walker no, turnovers no, in the final no. three minutes? I, like I said Is last night. Is that what you mean? I'm going to enjoy what took place. There are criticisms of what happened. No team is perfect. No player is perfect. But I think we can all enjoy the fact that the New York Knicks – Gave us something here's, not a lot of teams give us. Here's the truth. Routinely in this town. Between, and, and I'm sick, man. I've watched your basketball team for years suck because I love the NBA and I love watching it. And I can say this, and you'll agree with it, and I think every diehard Nick fan would agree with this. We've seen that game before. We've seen a collapse over the final three minutes before. And every single time a game like that would occur, the New York Knicks would lay down and lose. The difference last night, and I wholeheartedly agree with you about going through the negatives. Here's the bottom line. They collapsed in the final three minutes of the game, and they won. Yeah. And that's the end of the story. And I think that's the difference between this Knicks team and the team you've watched for the last six or seven years, and obviously before that when they were good in 13. Games like that, you lose after you collapse. Last night? They responded. Last night they fought, and it was a hell of a win, and it was one of those opening night wins you, you won't forget. No matter where this season goes, you won't forget the way that yeah. crazy opener of the 21-22 season went. Yeah, it was great. The Garden was chaos. It delivered on every level of our expectation. A great game. Uh, you know, Listen, tip of the cap to the Celtics. Jalen Brown, as you talked about before the game yesterday. Oh, yeah. Who may not, he was, by the way, he was questionable even play last night because yeah. he's coming back from COVID only Played one preseason game. He was game. unbelievable last night. The, the 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 shot he makes from the Nick logo uh, in the last minute of the game is ridiculous. Like, you can't do anything about it. Like, 48 played good D, and he doesn't think the guy's going to make a 40-foot shot, and he did. So I, I tip my cap to that. You know, Mark is smart making the open three to tie when the New York defense p played like they'd never been on a basketball court well, before. Well, Jason Tatum falling down yeah. screwed everything up. Yeah. Mental breakdown so, by Evan Fournier. It's all good. I mean, even the fact that we got crazy in the last three minutes of the game and decided like every possession was going to end with a bad Julius Randle shot. Uh, and then Evan Fournier saves our ass with a bunch of threes. And then I will say this. As a basketball fan, you know that's my my – favorite of all the sports, and the Knicks are my favorite team, there was a, I want to say about a three-minute period of mm -hmm. late in that game where they traded six three-pointers. Yes. Back and forth. Yes. That and was during it, the first overtime. It was like a heavyweight fight where I think it yeah. was four or five straight possessions was Boston three, Nick three. Right. Boston three, Nick three. And yeah. then we went five possessions each, and nobody scored. But that three-minute run yes, there, yes. that was back and forth, 
It's the odds that I always talk about. I'm not a blowout guy. I hate blowouts. They do nothing for me. That game last night gave me everything I love as a sports fan. The back and forth aspect of it, edge of your seat, you know, for the majority of the fourth quarter, mm -hmm. and obviously in both overtimes, my team won, yeah. which is paramount to everything. Of course. But guys made plays, man. Uh, Until that second overtime, because I think in the second overtime, Craig, everyone was gassed. Everybody yeah. was done in that second and overtime. And you saw that Jalen Brown can't get up to dunk. <laughs> yes. And although I don't think it's because he was gassed, you know, uh, Schroeder missing a wide-open layup. Uh, That's because he's Dennis Schroeder, Craig. That's why he missed a wide-open layup. He made layup. a lot of key shots. Them he down also the stretch. stinks overall, but whatever. <laughs> he missed. Like, the Celtics whatever. did miss an uncontested layup. <laughs> they did. And an uncontested <laughs> dunk, which yeah. helped us And by win. the way, Jason Tatum <laughs> was as abysmal as you'll ever see him, but... I want to I want to preface that yeah, with a statement. He was seven for thirty. He was seven for thirty. But you know who I thought was the star of the game for the Knicks, and this is not a popular thing to say, but I really believe it was your guy R.J. Barrett because his lockdown defense on Tatum and at times Jalen Brown was awesome, and also the fact that he was able to respond after that completely no show dreadful first half yeah, he didn't score. and have a big third quarter. Right. But his defense last night, it goes unnoticed a little bit because you can't see it in the box well, score. Especially on the last possession of the oh. first OT. How about the turnover he forced on Jalen Brown? Like, R.J. Barrett's lockdown defense last night yep. was one of the major reasons you guys won this Played game. Played more than 40 minutes, too. Like, so he did his job, and he did not score in the first half. I would say the other two, listen, obviously Fournier and Randall. so just keep them aside. Their their stat line speaks for itself. You know, we don't have to talk about what they did uh, You know, in, de in detail because it is what it is. But remember yesterday you said to me, what am I looking forward to? And I said, Obi Toppin. Obi. I think Obi Toppin is a difference maker for them this year. And he was. You know, what, 14 points in 28 minutes, whatever it was. Uh, a lot of fast break points. Uh, on the court at the same time as Randall's. We talked well, about And yesterday. we saw that in the fourth yep. quarter. We yep. saw that for a huge stretch Big of the fourth quarter in overtime where Tom Thibodeau finally had the confidence to say, I'm going to go small. And their defense didn't lack all that much. Obi gave them a lot of kind of energy. It worked. And it was probably because he was forced to do and it. And how many rebounds did Big Mitch have? 17, yeah, I think Mitch it was. Yeah, Mitch was great, too. So you got, like, the guy, the role players on this team. It's one game. It's easy to get carried away. I'm sure I will be carried away throughout the afternoon. You by don't no sound means, carried away at all. By no means am I saying that, you know, we're suddenly winning a championship because of last night. Why not? Just go but with it. Go let, with it. Come because on. Because I'm not going to do that. winning the title. I'm Let's not go. doing that yet. But I saw a lot out of this team that we've not seen out of a lot of Nick teams historically over the last decade. We well, just haven't. But you know, you know what they we have, have different to do? guys who can score. Uh, I was not thrilled defensively, of course. Uh, but once they gave up on the notion that we have to force feed the rock to Randall on every possession down the stretch, and he took three or four terrible shots, and we suddenly said, wait a minute, there's other guys who can right. and have scored in this game. Uh, listen, it's like... You know, every team opening day means something special because it, you know you're everyone's in the same spot. We all have the hope, right? Mm -hmm. It's all about promise and hope. And will this be our year? Baseball opening day for most people is the most special because of the way they celebrate it, right? But when you go into your very first game at home, at least the Nets will have that on Sunday. When you have your first home game of the year and it's the season opener, and you put on a show like the Knicks did last night, it's everything that us diehard Knicks fans have been begging for for a very, very, very long time. And you saw it being in the building during the game, I'm sure. I know you saw it after because I've seen a lot of the street videos that came out similar to the end of last year as we got ready for the Atlanta Hawks. We are starved for this. We've not had this no, I get it. in a I very get it. long time time and I'm going to love it. I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to soak it up like it's Sunday gravy and I'm going to milk it for all it's worth because tomorrow's not promised. Yesterday is a history. Today's where I'm living. First place. Yes. <laughs> I love it. 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 Congratulations. Oh, I love it. 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 I love it, 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 I love it. Woo! Even LeBron James chiming in online. This is awesome.
Everybody, I love it. I love it. The uniforms were dope. Even Spike Lee's purse was acceptable <laughs> last night. It wasn't. Uh, and it's never acceptable <laughs> for a man to wear a purse. And he wore the purse the whole game. Uh, like, it's one thing if you wear a purse, you put it over the, the seat. Right. Like, no one's going to steal Spike Lee's purse. He's sitting front row. My man rocked the purse the whole night. He's up, he's down, he's up, he's down. And I hate Spike Lee. <laughs> and I hate man purses. <laughs> but last night, the purse was acceptable. Yeah, last night, everything's acceptable in your yeah. eyes. Yeah. I mean, the amount of chains that, um, uh, what's the Tracy name? Morgan? Tracy Morgan was Yeah, I noticed that. Last night, also usually unacceptable. Last night, totally acceptable. Yeah. Dustin Hoffman was acceptable. Love and respect Michael J. Fox. He's always acceptable, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Oh, what a great night at the Garden. A great effing night at Madison Square Garden to win the opener. Obviously to beat the Celtics, who we hate anyway. Man, oh, man. I, like, I felt alive. Absolutely alive. Because I don't get this from the Jets, our favorite team. Giant fans don't get this from the Giants. You can make the argument of baseball, you know, which you know, we've gone over and over and over and over again. They gave us what we are usually so envious of in other sports when we watch great games. Like, you had it all last year with the Nets. The Nets were fun to watch last year. The Knicks may, gave us a run last year. We got a little taste of it. And last night, I th think, solidified the fact that we have a really good Basketball team, not on paper, tangibly, real life. We have a good basketball team. I think you got a good basketball yeah. team, and you have a better team than you had last no year. Doubt and to give about Leon that. Rose credit, you saw the additions and how Woo! important they could be. Do you realize? I couldn't believe this. And if I you love get, it, I love it, I love it, I if, love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. If you get this right, I would give you whatever you wanted. So Evan Fournier had a great night last Hang night. Hang on one sec. Let me tell you what I want. So I know. Like you can ask me like a question. A trivia question. All yeah. right, so you can ask me a trivia question. Yeah. You said if I get it right, I get whatever I want. Yeah, I would give you I whatever you want. I want to tell you, you now what yeah. it is that I'm going to want. What do you want? All right. If, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. whatever I want. Well, I'm a simple reason. man. I'm a I'm simple man. I'm very confident that you're not going to get it right, and I don't even think Lugie's going to be able to bail you out. So I have a confidence of, yeah, Fair whatever enough. you want, Craig. I'm a simple man, Evan. Go ahead. What do you want? I don't want a lot. What do you want? Here's what I want. Go. I'd want three pounds of moist brisket. From my favorite barbecue place, Hill Country, which right. is on 26th Street between 5th and 6th Avenues, all right? Okay. And I would like wings for a month. A month? Yes. I mean, look, yeah. I'm confident you're not going to get this right, but I get nervous well, that this isn't really worth now, it to me. By the way, I didn't get greedy. I didn't ask for a car. I didn't you say, asked you know, for wings for a month. Yeah. Well, how, I'd stop being how greedy. about this? I will give you one of those dopey T-shirts they handed out last night. I don't and want one of those. those fugazi watches Ooh. that light up every time the Knicks okay. score. I'll take I'll give the watch. You that. I'll take the watch. Okay, the watch and two pounds of popcorn. Garden popcorn? Gar I bought garden popcorn. Okay, and three pounds of moist brisket uh, from Hill Country. Why do you need the brisket? Because I love it. All right, th two pounds of moist brisket. We're negotiating. Yeah. Two pounds of moist brisket from Hill Country. Yes. Five boxes of garden popcorn. Uh, two boxes of garden popcorn. Four boxes of garden popcorn. My final uh, request. I only bought two boxes of popcorn. Well, in the future. Popcorn. I mean, you're gonna, oh, for the future. You okay. are a season ticket holder, That's right. right? Night to be named later. Yes. Okay. And what was the third thing? Oh, and you have to get me uh, ten bags of spice drops. Ten bags yeah. of what? Spice drops. It's two for a dollar. Whatever. So Fine. Bucks. You're not gonna get All it. Right. So I'm coming. All right. Bring it on. All right. So last night, Evan Fournier. Don't Google. Put your hands off the computer. <laughs> what did I do? Evan Fournier set the Knicks franchise record. Yes. For most points scored in his debut as a Nick. Correct. Whose record did he eclipse? And I'll give you 10 seconds <laughs> so you can't Google. <laughs> Go ahead. Ho, ho, ho. You know it? <laughs> Four, ooh, ooh, five, ooh. <laughs> six. <laughs> Seven, Evan, I'm going to slow eight. play this. I'm not going to type. No, no, you have okay. to give the answer. All right, here's Stop the deal. Stop asking them to I search. Didn't say anything. You have five seconds or Hang it's on. done. Hold on a second. I'm going to sit over here so I'm not near <sighs> the keyboard so there's no cheating at all. They said it during the broadcast. Did they? They did. Damn it, this is the problem with being at the game. They said it during the broadcast. Then give me the answer now. One. It was the night, hold on. It was the night of a lot of firsts, all right? <sighs> it was a lot of firsts, okay? Yes. Okay, here's the deal. It was a night of a lot of firsts for opening night scoring. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just going to tear right off the bat. It was Keith Van Horn. 
Son of a bitch. And I know I'm right because it he came up. He said that on the broadcast? No, they did not. I just happen to be a diehard Nick that? fan. And I love Evan you Fournier. You knew that Keith yeah. Van Horn's That's 29 right. points so. a decade and a half ago was the Nick record? Yes, I no did. No way you knew that. Uh, no way you knew that. I knew it. How did you know that? Because I'm the only Nick fan you know in this building. You knew Keith Van freaking yes. Horn? So... Three pounds of moist, oh, five on. boxes of popcorn, and ten bags of spice drops are coming our way. This is such <laughs> BS. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, I thought it, that I was it, the most it, under the radar, geeky, Nets related yeah. trivia question that there's no chance yeah. you'd get. Well, you've misjudged my fandom. Uh, when it comes to the Knicks, I put myself up against any person on the radio or on TV in the country. You know what? I'm I'm a with All you right. now. I mean, because basketball that's a good one. is my favorite sport. I like the way they dribble up and down the court. I think there's a majority of Nick fans, <laughs> uh, the casuals, who didn't even know Keith Van Horn played for yeah, the Yeah, that's also a good, very good, poss <laughs> a very good possibility. Well, listen, we're all pumped up. This is my happiest sports day, I got to think. I mean, in a very, very long time. I got Obviously, the Knicks making the playoffs last year was dope. But this is one of my most favorite regular season moments in any sport. I can't tell you the last time. So let's get into it. You watched the game last night. And uh, thankfully, it was not blacked out, so I got to watch it. And it took so long to start it that I got home about two minutes in. And that included driving past a terrible car fire on 78 last night. Wow. Like 50-foot uh, flames. I'm glad Crazy. they delayed the start because, and this isn't for my own selfish reasons, yeah. getting into the garden last night. I heard a lot of people saying it took a bit. Was brutal. So I got VIP like I told you. Well, I'm not VIP. I'm sitting on the Chase Bridge. I, who the hell am I? I'm From now VIP. on, I'll set it up. You go right in the VIP. Entrance. Well, that's very nice of you. But I'm glad to you. the start time was later so that the diehard Nick fan that was trying to get into that building was actually able to sit down and watch the opening. Yeah, it didn't, they, they didn't tip to about 7.45. Yeah. Um, as opposed to it was at 7.30 announced. Yeah, but they usually start. tip at 7.40. On gen in general, it's a 7.40 tip. So if it was 7.45, it's only five minutes late. Yeah, so really, I mean, so I got lucky. I got home pretty quick. I, once I got through the Holland Tunnel, and again, that, thank God, and I hope everyone's all right, there was a mad car fire, like I've never seen before, crazy, Wow. on 78 going uh, east, huh. and I was going west, and uh, the traffic had not built up yet. So I got home literally about two minutes in, uh, so I did not miss a, a play. I, I just want to know one thing, and you got to be honest. When they blew an 11-point lead with three and a half minutes to go, and Kemba's acting like he's never played point guard before, Yeah. and then there's the breakdown, Tatum falls, 48 doubles, blah, 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 Marcus Smart, three. Yeah. And now we're going to overtime. Yeah. Did you think the Knicks were going to win this game? Yep, 100%. No, you didn't. Never wavered. No, you didn't. Never wavered. I mean, if you're a never Nick wavered. fan who's got the roberts itis in PTSD, Nick yeah. fan -esque, there's no way after blowing that lead you said, we got this. By the way, there's no way. There was a point, you know, the Knicks were up 8 nothing out of the gate. <laughs> yes. And went down 12. Yes. That's a 20-point run. That's the NBA, though. That's I normal. Know. Blowing, I know. blowing the 11-point lead with three and a half minutes to go. You know, boring. But really, bo blowing the six-point lead with the ball. 45 seconds to go. Yeah. It was a meltdown that, was the that led to right it. There yeah. Because the game's over. When Fortier hit the three to put him up by six. Game over. Game's over. Yep. I agree. And the 100%. only way Boston would come back well, would have makes these breakdowns. A Forty foot three. That's not a breakdown. That's that's one of those days we gotta say the turnover your cap because that dude made a shot. He ain't gonna make ten percent. It's of the, the time. turnovers though. If yeah. you protect the basketball and play smart, hit your free throws, the game's over. I was so what you worried. couldn't do was turn it over on that really good bounce pass to Fournier where he made the layup. Mm -hmm. Right, I, and as they were trying to foul, yeah. As opposed to getting fouled and having to make the two free throws. He was going to miss the layup. I swear to God, I thought he was going to miss that layup. Because <laughs> he came in, he shot it righty. Right. And he's on the left side, and it was a weird, It was for some reason, he came in at like an awkward angle on it, and it hits the right side of the rim. Right. That wasn't like your basic backboard net two points. That was backboard side of the rim. Oh, my God. Yes, he made it. And by the way, <laughs> after that, when Julius gets fouled and goes to the line and Boston has no timeouts before the smart three, Julius casually hit both free throws. Yes, he did. All nothing but net. Dude, he misses one of them. Yep. Our conversation today, slightly different. Yeah, and he makes the, he makes the ultimate clincher in the second or two yep. also. Yep. Uh, and it's funny you say that because as a Syracuse grad, I've seen a lot of games go down the wrong way because of missed free throws. Sure, of <laughs> and <laughs> he, we all? Dude, he stepped up there, one dribble, swish, one dribble, swish yep. with everything on the line. 
MVP. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We got lots of Knicks all day. We actually have some New York Giants stuff today because uh, the head coach spoke like a human being today and took total ownership of all the Giants' failures. So my tune might be changing on Joe Judge later this afternoon as well. 877-337-6666. Carton and Roberts on the fan. 